Hey guys, how's it going? So, welcome back to the channel. As you can probably already tell, I purchased a new webcam. And it is the Logitech Streamcam Plus. So in this video, we're going to go over the product. We're going to go over some of the neat little features I found in the Logi Capture program. And then, pretty much just my thoughts on why I purchased this thing. So, let's begin. Okay, so here is the Logitech Streamcam Plus, and at first glance, you can tell it is fairly thick compared to some of the other webcams on the market. In comparison, here is my old Logitech C922. So this still records at 1080p and a max of 60 frames per second, and it has a field of view of 78 degrees. On the front here, you can see there is a white indicator light. And then it also has built-in dual microphones, which I would not really recommend in using. On the back, you have a USB Type-C cable, which cannot be removed from the camera. And if, you, if your motherboard does not support USB Type-C, you may have to buy an adapter to plug into one of your other USB ports to get this camera to work. So this camera also has the unique feature to be changed from landscape the portrait or back so if you have a need for that you can do that and then this is the mount you would use to mount onto the back of your monitor and you can change your tilt and then change the direction of which it faces and then in the kit as well it comes with this U or u-shaped bracket and then it has a screw on the bottom which you can use a tripod which is this is the one that came with it as well you can try not to drop this. It just screws on like that. And then you can take your camera and nope. put it on there. Nope. Actually, it only fits in one way, and I had it backwards, so there. When it clicks, it is in. So that's it. So now I'm going to show you the Logi Capture program. Okay, so this is the Logitech Capture Program. I was calling it the wrong thing for the first part of this video, but yeah. When you Google it, it comes up either way, so. So this is the program you would have to download to change some of the settings for the camera. As you can see, you can turn on or off your autofocus or your auto white balance and stuff like that if you would want to adjust it. And then here's your typical settings for, you know, contrast, sharpness, and stuff like that. And when you would change them in this program, it actually saves to the camera. So when you would go over to Streamlabs or OBS, it should automatically be pre-saved over there. And then they have a tab right here. So you can change your resolution, your FPS, and a couple other little features in there. So let's go back here. So some of the neat little things I found in here is they have an image stabilization. So if I would shake my camera, let it catch up. It shouldn't shake, but it's going to. And then they also have this auto framing option, which it will track you wherever you go. The only way I could get either of these to work in, say, Streamlabs, is you actually have to open the Logi Capture program as a video source. I called it the wrong thing again. And then it would work. The only downside about that is it's just another program running in the background and it could slow your computer down. So. I guess that's the risk. So other than that, let's move on from here. So the main reason I purchased this camera for is I just needed a camera that was more reliable than my old C922. The exposure and the uh, focus would always get messed up on that. So when I would do sit down films like this, I would always have to do a retake a bunch of times just because it would always go in and out of focus. So hopefully I don't have to do that anymore. And this camera still falls within my budget, so yeah. Eventually I would like to get a nice DSLR, but that's going to have to wait a while. Those are still a little out of my reach, so. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider and subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream on there most days. And other than that, thanks for watching. And bye.